I'm sorry. That I didn't grow up to be the perfect American dream little girl you planned me to be. That while in your womb you made this meticulous dream of how I was supposed to be. But I ripped it away with the rough, scratchy, hand-burning work like I was on the winning team of tug of war. I'm sorry that I didn't become your precious printing Pepto-Bismol bottle cause I'd rather wear shoulder pads and cleats than be a musty, muddy mess, but believe me, I'm sorry for who I am. I'm sorry that I'm that eccentric child who isn't like the rest of them, who is a clearance puppy like Marley, who is different and lives outside all the boxes and doesn't conform to society's norm, whose style is weird and unimaginable like purple shoes, a red shirt, and navy blue shorts cause all the colors add up, but that's just me. I'm sorry that you have to treat me differently and let me go on my own shopping sprees rather than you shop with me because you don't want to be seen in the men's section with your daughter, receiving stares from people judging you like a parent who's going to bail their child out of jail. So you leave and tell me to find you when I'm finished because you can't help but care what people think. But look, I don't care what people say, but you do, and it pushes you away. I'm sorry. That my appearance offends you and my outfits make your stomach drop to your feet like a bowling ball is weighing you down and the bags under your eyes seem deeper than the drug dealers when the police drive by and my clothes may not hug all the right places but these clothes are on you and my appearance isn't yours but you treat it like it is and even though you say I look cute I know your words aren't true because your emotions express the real you I'm sorry that you hurt my feelings but don't notice it cause I quickly change the subject and look away to mask the pain and leave it unsaid cause that argument is played out like R. Kelly's trapped in the closet series so I let my feelings constipate my mind later to be excreted to the loyal pages of my journals I'm sorry that you had to act clueless like it was a shock to you although you said you already knew you should have used your context clues and put two and two together but I guess that was too hard for you I'm sorry that I embarrass you and we're in public I'm sometimes called your son and you quickly correct them and laugh it off like it's a joke but I know deep down inside you're wallowing in despair wishing the interaction never happened I'm sorry that this flaw of mine is branded on my forehead like the letters of a cute dog and readable from my hairstyle I'm sorry that you don't see all the good that I do, like being a therapist for friends in need and writing beautiful poetry that brings people to tears and fall in love. I'm sorry that you have a lack of understanding and tunnel vision that blinds you from seeing all the good. I'm sorry that you're unaccepting like the stomach of a lactose intolerant person trying to digest some milk. I'm sorry that you have to be like that. <laughs>